I chose an apprenticeship for career development. I was working in a role and I had skills but uh, no real foundation. This apprenticeship is going to give me the foundation to bring all those skills together. I chose an apprenticeship because I was used to working full time and I knew this was the way that I could work full time but still earn while I learn. I actually work for a contractor to NIE called Speed but NIE train us so it's quite a unique situation. I'm a mature student apprentice uh, as I'm in the thirties so I worked for years uh, as a musician due to problems with tendonitis I actually uh, had to stop that. This really interested me, I always had interest in technical kind of things. It's also really good opportunity because you, you learn a new skill, you get to retrain as you're, and you're being paid to do it as well, as well as doing qualifications in it. That is a great way to gain skills while gaining qualifications. Because if you just go to tech, you're only getting qualifications, then you have to go out and gain your work skills. Before I started here, I was actually doing a course with Open University. I knew it wasn't really what I wanted to do, but because I could still work full time while I was learning, I just chose that subject. I'm glad I got this opportunity. Uh, I get trained in the training centre, then I go out on site. And I like that balance of having on site training and training in the centre as well. It's a very unique way, and I think it's the best way of training that there is. I do enjoy the classroom, getting to learn the theory behind what we do out on site. The mix of both the theory and the practical is, is good. As I say, you're not just stuck in the classroom all day learning the theory. You know you maybe do a wee bit of theory and then you're straight out putting that theory into practice and actually using your hands. The opportunity to, to do courses such as the BTEC course and tech, which allows you to expand your, your knowledge, uh, so to speak, and opens up more opportunities for you as well. Everyone's very approachable in the company and it's, it's like a, a giant team, you know, everyone's in it together. There's really good uh, team spirit within NAE networks, especially within the apprenticeship. They have a lot of uh, extra curricular activities they have. You know, uh, team building exercises, they bring, bring us away to do, you know, high ropes course and uh, go-kart and all these sort of things. And also have charity football events where we have competitions, um, raising money, but also having a great time at the same time. The social side of the apprenticeship would involve uh, lots of team building days and uh, team building exercises, just trying to get everyone together to make it less awkward when you're out on site meeting people so that you've met them all in a, a discipline that's not in work, you know, so no one feels pressured and you, you get to know people a wee bit more and it's not all just by the book. I have a degree, I did a degree, and there's lots of people who have degrees who are now working for minimum wage in shops. This offers a good opportunity to, to learn as you get paid to learn. It's a more in-depth kind of training where you're, you're learning both on-the-job training from experienced people, but you're also learning the technical side in, in college as well, so it's, it's, a, it's a very good course. Apprenticeships aren't just for boys. Um, I think girls are as capable as boys, especially in this day and age with women wanting working careers. And I think we're just as capable. For years, I would have seen you know, lines men out on the job and thought, oh, that's a class job to be doing. And now to actually be in the middle of it, to be doing that work and you know, during the storms, to be able to get people back on to par and uh, just simple things like this, I find it really enjoyable and really rewarding.